Today we're going to learn the halacha if hummus have to be bishul Yisrael or not. So uh, there are some hummuses in the market with the hechsher, but they're not bishul Yisrael, and there are with bishul Yisrael. So the short answer, it has to be bishul Yisrael. I don't know any hatter why it should not be, and I'm going to go over it now to prove this point. Um, and I'm going to maybe say why some cashless agencies giving a cashless, even a, a non bishul Yisrael hummus, where they're coming from, and why I think uh, they're wrong. Okay, so in, in the Yeredeya, Kuf Yud Gimel, it says over there when it talks about uh, mm -hmm. what you're not allowed to eat, it was Bishul Akum, Velo Osru Ela Dovor Shana Nechal Kmoishu Chai, one condition uh, in order it should be Osru to eat Mitzat Bishul Akum, it's either something uh, cannot be eaten raw. I'm sorry, it's not either. But according to most poskim, the way the Rabbeinu Tam brings, uh, you have to have two conditions uh, in order it should be Osur Meshad Bishul Akum. Number one, Shana Nechal Kmoshu Chai, it's not being eaten, you cannot eat the food raw. So anything you could eat raw, there's no problem over there to eat, like we mentioned previously, to eat a baked apple that was baked or cooked by a goy, it's no problem because an apple could be eaten raw, but anything that cannot be eaten raw, and the goy cooked it or baked it. Condition number two, you need the tut noim to make it osur, it's something that oil shulchan melochim, the lapes boy sapas, oil par peres, to eat it together with the, with the meat that's coming, some the, the most dishes that's coming during the suda to eat the, with meat, I mean with, with the bread, I'm sorry, the bread is the iker, it's the main food. Oil par peres. We'll see the pastus par peres, meaning dessert, but then we're going to talk about this. There's some other opinions what the par peres means over here. So, like this. If they're going to tie it, the reason the hummus could be bishul akum, kosher, but bishul akum, because it's not oil al shulchan malachim, that's not a good tie Why? Because a lot of people think that shulchan malachim, meaning some kind of royalty home. It's not. The Horaya, Chazal, said you should not do that whether maybe Yachil and Dvarim Asurim or the Iker Asiba, the Poskim bring him some Chasnos, you might make Chasnos with him. Well, not, the Chazal did not make Milza de Lash Kicha. How many people are going to be invited by some royalty family to eat by them? Talking about your neighbor might invite you, your friend might invite you, a Goy, and then, so the, the, the definition, the way the Rambam brings this, it says, Shika, I'm reading from the Rambam, Macholos Asuras, Perek Yudzayin, Halacha Tesvob. Shika ragzeira mishum chasnus, shelo yizamnoi ha'akum etzloi besuuda, the guy might call you to come to have a meal by him, but dovor she'eno oile al shulchan melochim, lechol boes apaz, anything that is not fancy, that, that uh, you don't put on the table to eat with the bread, and odom zamen as chavere olov. A person not going to invite his friend and, 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 and put something not fancy. If he's inviting somebody home, you want to put a nice food. That's a psat shulchan malachi, meaning a, a fancy food that you're not embarrassed to put in front of a guest. That, 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 that's the finish shulchan malachi. So, mimele, to say that the hummus, it's not fancy enough, it's not true because when you take, take, we go through Shulchan Malachim definitely every Shabbos, you're inviting people for Shabbos, you, you, you could have hummus on the table. And hummus on the table could be in many uh, uh, bar mitzvahs, uh, sheva brachas, chasras, they could have hummus on the table. It's not the main dish, but it's, 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 it's part of the, what you eat together with the past. So that, the, the hetta that it's not oil al Shulchan Malachim, it's not shayachir whatsoever. Now, the second hetta might be it says over here that, uh, and by the way, this is also based on, on, on the Rambam. What, what the, 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 the tour brings, the lapis boy sapas oil par peres, it's, it's based on the Rambam. Why? Because the Rambam writes in the same parak, Yud Zayin, Aloha Yud Ches, it says, Pulim va'afunim va'adoshim, kayetzibam, any type of lentils, sholkin uh, oisom ha'akum, that they cook them, the goyim, and they sell them asurim mishum bishule akum, 
במוקרם שאולם על שולחן מלוכים משום פרפרס. Again, פרפרס זה פשטוס מינינג, זה לא המיין פוד, זה יותר דזרט, זה גם אוסר. זה מה שפעלו, כל הפוסקים טור, שולחן אורוך, רמו, כל הפוסקים פעלו את רמב״ם, אז זה לא, אנחנו לא מתחילים רק על הפוד is the main dish that the lapis boy sapaz that comes together goes together with the bread even something parperes like i said right now we're going to learn pshat parperes uh, the way the most poskim learn this it's not the main dish it's more like dessert it's also would be also so the male uh, what they want to say the one of the tainas they want a taina that if there is the isur of um of Bishul Akum, it's only thing that coming is a main dish. Anything that coming not the main dish, they rely on the Bri Chodosh, which is, I'm gonna soon bring this Bri, Bri Chodosh. They say the Bri Chodosh says, the Paperes doesn't have to be Bishul Israel. So they hold the hummus is not the main dish. It's coming as more Paperes, and according to Bri Chodosh, that would be Muta. So the problem with that shita, A, We have rules and regulations. You cannot just find one place that says, ah, I'm going by him and I'm going to give kashrus for it. Even though the kashrus agencies, a lot of times, base on leniencies, but there have to be a leniency that has a base in halacha. We have a rule, yochid v'rabim halacha k'rabim. All poskim, besides the prichodosh, saying, any parperes, it's also like main dish. So you can't say, oh, I find a prichodosh, a memeil chumus become mutter. It doesn't go like this. Yochid halacha k'rabim, the rabim saying, whether it's Lifton, the Lapis Boy Sapas, whether it's Parperes, it's Osur Mishum Bishul Akum. period. That's Halacha. You can't say, oh, I find one Poisek, so I'm going to sell now messes of Chumus to all Klal Yisrael and tell them it's kosher because I found one Poisek that Halacha not Kamoisek, Yochid Halacha Karabim. That's what I want to know. And number two, the whole basis of the relying on the pre Chodesh, it's wrong. And I'll tell you what, I'll read you the pre Chodesh inside. <laughs> the, the, it, it's, it's false. basis the pricho i'm reading prichodesh inside the prichodesh says like this yeshli the yeshli loimar the omru the lapas versa pasar dafka be mine lifton the lapas a pas meaning that you eat together uh main dish with the food aval ama cholim ana cholim betoras michael some food you got on the table the love betoras lifton they don't come together to eat them with the bread i mean some uh Uh, Herschel told me that he would eat the steak without the bread. Some people eat with the salad without the bread. Or whatever you eat without the bread. Whatever it's in your menu that you don't eat with the bread. He says, says so First of all, he says, anything that you, he brings later on, the Imken Oires, Haber the Kavos said, The dice of Shnei and Boim Betoras Michael. People eating rice or farina, they don't eat it with the bread. Again, maybe somebody would, but he probably brings what is what's common in his time. Rice and farina, they would not eat with the bread. It says it doesn't have to be, it's also because coming the lapis as a pass. No, even though it's not, you don't eat it with the bread. It's coming as a, as a food on the table, as, as, as part of the main su'uda. It has to be Bishul uh, Yisrael. says clearly, even though you don't eat it with the bread, it's also Mr. Bishul Egoim because it's come on a main su'udah. However, here is what his chiddush, and that they're relying on it, and it's wrong that they, either they didn't understand the aloha or the misleading people. Here is what he said. Aval dvori maboim bekinuach su'udah. He learns parperes as two pirushim. We learn most... People learn parperes as 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 it's kinuach suda, it's dessert. He says in parperes there's two pirushim in parperes. One is not the main dish. It's, not, it's a meaning you don't eat it with the bread. You eat it as a lift and before that's not you eat it as a food and it's on. Then there is a parperes that's coming as a dessert. So he learned the prichodosh. He has a hetter like I said. He's mechadosh. This hetter no one else learns like him. He says aval is bekinuach suda dessert shenom. אסורים ללפס, בואים מספס, וגם אין להם בואים בתור הסמייכל, זה נת כמה יש אפוד, דזורת, you don't eat as, as a food, as a meal. פשיטה דלסבו משום בישולי גויים, 
He says that according to the the pre chodosh, if you have dessert that there was bishul akum that doesn't have to be bishul Israel. Why? He has his, his reason now. She'en odom zaman chaveroi aleyam. People don't invite somebody on dessert, he says. So, okay, so it's like this. Relying on the chumus heter and the pre chodosh, that it's not, it, it's a lifton, and the lifton doesn't have to be, the, the pre chodosh did not say that. Anything you eat in part of the meal, not dessert, nobody eats chumus as dessert. Hummus is not ice cream, hummus is not chocolate, it's food that you eat with the food and most time even with the bread. So this is according to the Kul Alma, you eat with the bread, it's, it's, it's a lifton that comes with that, that's also Mashum Bishulai Akum. And the dessert, even the dessert could argue that the whole swar of the pre Chodesh, people don't invite somebody on dessert. Some people do invite people by, by Sheva Brochers, by other or, or, or fr friends come over for dessert. So Mimela, you could argue on the pre anyway, especially that a lot of poskim disagree with him. So th there is, uh, again, I'm going to summarize this. Three in Yon and why they're wrong. The Chumas have to be vicious. A, it's oil al shulchan malachim. You put it on the Shabbos table. You, you're not embarrassed to put Chumas when a guest comes to you. So it's oil al shulchan malachim. And the lapis boy sapas the kula alma people most of the hummus with the bread and even you eat it without the bread hummus prichodesh yeah. maskim if it's part of the of the meal it's not dessert it's have to be bishul israel and even the the hetter of dessert which is it's again it's it's absurd to say that the hummus is coming as dessert as as ice cream it's not but even you would say that the whole sfor of the prichodesh because. People don't invite anybody on this alone. On dessert, people do invite some people. So, because of all this, I don't see any heter why hummus could be served non bishul Israel. It's have to be, it's mamash over Israel Draban without any heterim. I don't see any good heter. I don't see any heter. Um, the hummus uh, should be something that only bought bishul Israel. Otherwise, also mitzad bishulakum.